Welcome back everybody, it's time to video for you, and uh, this is a very exciting video for me. Um, I've been waiting for this for quite a while, um, well not quite a while, just <laughs> I guess a little over a week, but um, you all know that I uh, sent uh, Joe Senegaglia um, some beer, um, I actually sent it to him a couple times, and uh, he's taken it upon himself, uh, with no asking on my side, to send me some beer and back in return, so that's really awesome, and I'm getting, I think, the way better deal in this. Um, he's sending me some California craft beers, um, which is really exciting. So here's the box. I haven't opened it yet, so it's it's kind of a surprise because he did send me a photo of what he was sending, but I've completely forgot what it was. So, um, and uh, if you guys don't know, you should check out uh, jo uh, Joe's uh, channel, which is uh, you can just go to J O W S J O W S Arcade dot com, and it'll take you right to his YouTube channel, Joe's Arcade, Joe Senegaglia. Um, and on there he does video games, arcade games, and reviews, and gameplay, and, uh, he also does beer reviews, which is awesome. And he's got me into trying all these different craft beers out there, which is tons of fun. Um, I just want to set that so it's doing something. And, uh, yeah, so let's take a look. Pretty good. I'm interested to see what the packaging's like on the inside here. The first time I sent him a package, I used a just a you know regular box kind of thing with actually I used a styrofoam cooler one time. I think I've sent three packages to him. Well, four to count the fact that one was two. And uh the last time I sent him one, I actually bought a beer mailing package, which was pretty cool, although it seems like it just was a huge waste, too, because there's so much space between the beers, which I think what Joe did here is a lot more smart, a lot smarter. Um, let's see what's going on in here. Yeah, these boys look like they're there, and they're real nice. Can you see this? Let me move in a little closer. So you can see right there. Whoa, the camera. Well, I hit the stop recording button there. That's fine. I'll just edit it back together again. So let's see what we got here. We did the same thing I did here, wrapping them in a plastic bag first. Right here, check this out. So Bootlegger's Brewery, Black Phoenix. Phoenix. This thing looks massive. It's a Chipotle, that's how you say it, coffee stout, 6.7% alcohol. That looks really awesome. Wondering what that's going to be like. <laughs> Coffee and chili peppers. That's an interesting flavor. I'm up for anything, though. I like everything. All right, let's see. What's this one? Stone smoked porter. This is chocolate orange peel. Chocolate orange peel. That sounds awesome. Cali Creamin. <laughs> this is I'm going to absolutely love. This is a vanilla cream ale. And I, Joe knows this. I love cream ales. So this is going to be really awesome. This is going to be so great. I'm going to really enjoy this one. Okay. These things are huge. So many gigantic beers. Let's see this. Zokovez Mocha Stout. If I'm saying that right. And that's definitely, it's got stone on here. It's got the stone character. And Chris Banker. Let's see, let's see. This is uh, Ale Brewery Cocoa, Coffee, Peppers, Vanilla, Cinnamon, and Nutmeg. Wow. That's a lot of flavors. Let's throw some of the stuff to the side. Stone Sto Chesticity Project Hibiscus Tea Hibiscus Tea 
Belgian style ale brewed with hibiscus flower and orange peel. Now, um, I like Belgian Belgian ales, and it's funny because local to me there is um, um, uh, Amagang, which is a brewery, and they do Belgian style ales. But to be honest with you, I went there this is years ago. Um, I didn't like any. I really didn't care for their stuff. But since then, I've had a few more of the things, and I, I liked it better. But of the Belgian ales, I like the ones that actually come from Belgium. So the ones that I've liked, and not say that I dislike ones from here. Oh, I had one from Japan, one of my favorite breweries, Hit the, hit the Chino Nest. Okay, so this one is an Imperial Stout. And uh, let's see, what's the brewery here? Mother Earth Brew Company. Some really cool, uh, oh, I see, syn Syntax? <laughs> syntax, okay. Oh, there's a lot of stuff in here. Really packed this thing full. It was really heavy, I can tell you, it was 23 pounds. We got a can here. We got a can. <laughs> Sighting get a can. Modern Times Beer. Hoppy Tropical Wheat. That sounds really good. Fortunate Islands. Let's see. Let's see how much. 1,008 1, gravity. 46 IBUs. Which I think that means that it's not super hoppy. It doesn't have really high IBUs. Another can. Mike Hess Brewing, Gracias, San Diego. This is a oh, Vienna style cream ale. Oh, Joe, he's awesome. Joe is so awesome. <laughs> An awesome guy. This is so exciting. And this, I've been seeing Joe drink this and just rave about. There's another stone one. This is in stone, enjoy by 12, 5, 14. So I should drink this soon because we are approaching the beginning of December. Thanksgiving coming up soon. Let's see here. We've got one more left. All right. There's something else in there too. This is Stone Vertical Epic. Now, I can get some stone stuff by me, but I've not seen this one. So this is really cool. <laughs> it's 12, 12, 12, 12. So this must be 12%. No, it's 9% alcohol. So when is it 12? I'm not, I'm not sure what the 12 comes from. I'll have to read this. Oh, I see the release dates. 2, 2, 2, 3, 3. Wait, was this actually brewed in 2012? Yeah, holy mackerel. This is this is uh, two years old. Well, be two years old. That's pretty cool. I just had some Belgian ale that was like that. And we got some stickers in here. <laughs> Don't touch my toolbox. That's cool. Alright, that's it. Alright, guys. That was awesome. I mean, it's going to be awesome because I'm going to be drinking these. Let's see here. So here's all the stuff we got. Wow. This is awesome. Joe, you're awesome. That's so great. <laughs> yeah, that's really great. So, uh, yeah, so why don't I uh, just come over here. I'll just show you what I've got. Nothing too exciting right now. Here's what I've got sitting on top of the freezer in the basement. 
So I've drank all the stuff that I uh, was pretty excited to drink. This though, um, supposedly is really rare. I don't, or hard to get. Um, sandwich cause, <laughs> sandwich, louse, sandwich louse. Kind of like Santa Claus, I don't know, but it's malt liquor, 14% uh, by, uh, by volume, so it's pretty strong from Austria. Apparently this is one of the strongest beers at the time that came out. And uh, brewed once a year on December 6th. It's aged for 10 months before bottling. So I'm looking forward to trying this one. This one looks like it's going to be great. Um, man, I almost dropped it. And this, uh, I love Six Point. These, these guys are great. This Six Point Sweet Action, this is a um, cream ale. This is fantastic. Um, so far, it's the best cream ale I've ever had. Um, so if you get a chance to try this, try it because it's really good. If you like cream ales, like, I mean, I mean, my first beers I was having were Genesee cream ales. And uh, I don't know if you call it a beer, it's cream ale. But, uh, so yeah, this is awesome. Um, and then we've got the Sensei Harvest, which uh, I've been looking forward to trying this as well. Um, so this is, I think this is pretty hoppy as it says. Wet hops. Put wet hops right in the brew. It's going to be uh, flower hops. So I probably won't like it. That's the one thing I'm not a huge fan of is the floral hops, but I'll give it a try. Um, here's the uh, Founders Breakfast Out. Uh, Joe did a review of this. He really liked this. Um, so I'm looking forward to trying that. And the all the stuff in the back is just kind of stuff that I'm, well, well, there's some good stuff in there too. This, if you can get this, this is really good. Um, this is Tusker um, Lager. First thing, it's not, it doesn't really come off like a lager, but it's really good. Um, and this is brewed in uh, Nairobi, Kenya. And you're like, whoa, okay, Africa. Don't worry, it's not West Africa, it's East Africa. Um, it's so refreshing. Um, and it says the water comes from, oh, where's it say? Barley grown at the base of Mount Kenya. Hops and water from springs from the renowned Arbor Dare mountain ranges and it really is it's very crisp it's very refreshing i mean this is one of the most refreshing beers i've ever had if you're looking for something refreshing like on a hot day or whatever this beer I mean, this beer is just good you just want to drink it i mean i'd love to have like a bunch of these and just have them you know nice and cold and just drink them these are great um this i don't know if this is good at all i got this out of the um they have at the uh um brew crew out by me it's called oliver's brew crew um they have like a dollar rack and they're essentially just selling off their stuff and usually it's crap so <laughs> it's like you know crap beers you know they're crap i don't know if this shiner white wing is any good or not it's a belgian white we'll see um and then here and i don't have any of the other ones but this is a this is kentucky peach barrel uh wheat ale and if you like fruit beers if you like peaches You'll love this. This is fantastic. And it's aged in uh, um, oak bourbon barrels. It's fantastic. Now, there's a black bourbon black black bourbon stout that they have, which is just as awesome. Um, actually, it might even be better if you like that kind of, if you like those kind. Um, and this is a glass from my favorite uh, Japanese brewery, Hitachino Nest. And whenever I get something from them, it does not last long. So that's why I don't have any of them right now. But I, I uh, got this for a dollar at the uh, local brew place so this is really awesome so it's just kind of cool to have a uh, glass that goes along with uh, my favorite brewery so they their beers are just every one of them is different and unique flavors and, and awesome so if you ever get a chance to get hit the Chino Nest um, get some of that just try it um, I've had four different kinds of their beer so far and every one of them I've really liked yeah, and the rest is just stuff in the back. You know, I've got two, I got a Saranac Everyday IPA, Yangling Black and Tan. Those have just been sitting around. Um, Hebrew uh, Dry Hop Session Ale. This, I don't know if it's going to be any good. And then the 2X IPA from Southern Tier, which some people like a lot. Um, it was okay. So I'm going to load Joe's beers up here, keep them nice and cool in my cool basement. Put some up in the fridge and uh, really looking forward to it. And I really want to thank Joe. He's awesome. Just make sure you subscribe to his channel, watch his videos, um, listen to his uh, podcast, uh, Arcade Outsiders podcast. Um, yeah, so that's it, guys. And, uh, you know, maybe I'll just do a little gameplay before we go off. Let's see.
Do I feel like pinball? Well, I got plugged that in. Yeah, maybe I'll plug it in. No, I don't plug it in. I just gotta turn it on. see it? So much reflection. So you got to see the, you got to see the DMD. Let's play a game. See if that's any good. Welcome right. to the Enterprise. Should I do a launch probe? I think I'll do a launch probe. Launch of Cloud One Pro. Where's he? I don't know where it wants me to go. I'll just shoot it there. The probe has discovered nothing, sir. We'll lock the light. Enterprise, the board have entered Federation space. Intercepted. Atmosphere out. Course light and Engage. Three drain at once. Let's, yeah, let's do start a mission. I haven't started any missions. Set coordinates for the Alpha Quadrant. Thank you. 
Okay, so that's uh, just a little play there. I want to share something else with you guys. So I got this right here since I'm here. Should I save this for another video? Hmm. How about I do this in another video? <laughs> 